What's up? What's up? You tuned out in nature live once again with your boy. I promise the great, the greatest of the greatest, giving you inspiration, motivation, courage. Stop, pause, gratitude for the elements earth, water, air, the fresh piranha, fire, the burning desire, ether, in the sky for the people, the space in between. Hello, how you doing today? We're divine with the wonderful, wonderful, living, kind, and caring, angelical ancestors of myself. The wonderful, wonderful, divine, infinite, the creator, source, so appreciation and gratitude to you as we divine with you today. What is it that spirit want us to know today? Let's rephrase that. What is the creator want us to know today? What is it source you want us to know right now in this present moment with the energy that we have? I like to tell you once again, it's me, Premise the Great, the greatest of the greatest, on the other Premise scene. I myself, life coach, spiritual healer slash consultant, help you to come in alignment and in touch with your authenticity as you move forward on your wonderful divine journey. Shout out to my true self, my higher self, my higher consciousness. As I give you only the truth, only honesty in these videos, I will let you know right now that I'm only here to tell you what it is you need to hear and not what you want to hear. Mm. I say I am here to deliver the wonderful message of love, kind, care, peace. And I'm here to tell you only what you need to hear and what you want to hear. And getting this information, you can take this information and find out how to make an adjustment so things can move smoother for you in that area of your life. So, also before I move forward, I like to make a disclaimer. This video does not predict your wonderful future, but however, it do gives you truth on things that may have encountered in your past, things that you are going through right now with your present energy in this present moment, and with that energy that you're carrying right now in this present moment, what could be in your future. However, at any time, the mind, the subconscious, the conscious is like a light bulb. You can turn it on to off with your energetic field and decide where you want to, what you call it, um, project your energy. So that means even though this reading might say some things that could be possible in the future, your energy could project it or could be projected at any moment into any direction depending on where you want to take it. So let's move forward. In this reading, this is an individual reading. For who? All of us. When I say individual, I mean one. I mean the whole. I mean us, because there's no separation. So take that to a high level of thinking for yourself. Let's move forward. This collect the reading. We have the two cards popped out first, the fire element in the village. Wow. <clears throat> um. I will finish safe before the cards popped out. There will not be a group one, two, or three. There will be for the collector. So if any time you counter or encounter this video, you know, this message is meant for you to hear. This message has something for you to hear. And if you take it and pay attention, and if it resonates with you, you can actually use this message to help you move forward to a high level of consciousness as you move forward on your journey. All right? So let's move forward. We're going to pull four cards. Five. The fire element came out first. This is the Arisha Tara deck. The village came out. What's next, spirit? But the loving kind of caring angelical beings of love and light. Show us what is needed to be heard right now in this present moment. May the loving... This one will come out, guys. The Baba La Risha. Ooh. Room Lao Nitsu too. Room Lao Nitsu too. Give me some water. 
What do the wonderful living? Oh, wow, this gig just got cut. Okay, okay. Gratitude for a roomy life. Let's slow down. Okay, this came out too. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say one more, guys. It said five, nine, seven, six, and it just popped out. It's cards flying out everywhere. I'm gonna take these seven. Old bar just came out, and the last card came out was the devil. Okay. In this fire element, we get in Leo, Sagittarius, also Aries. We have the village. In this type of village, what I'm picking up, you know, you see the people going crazy. It's like a, some type of destructive energy. Y'all, nature is out here on me. You got the spiders with me right now. That is a message as well. We got the village. Some things going on inside the village. This could be your place at home. This could be your work. This could be your community. This could be your environment. It's a lot of things going on, and it got a lot to do with the fire element. The Baba Larisha, there's connection. I'm saying a person that also connect to the vine. Also, you know, the Baba Lawu, you know, a person that is connected with source. There's a solution. Then we have the six of earth. Then we have the six of earth will be the six of pentacle, guys. I got to see what card this is. We got the Orisha Oba, the element of water as well. So once again, it could be a Pisces, could be a Capricorn or a Scorpio. There's some type of situation that is going on, whether it's in your home, whether it's in your community, whether it's in your village, you know, and it got to do with multiple people. It's men and it's women. Well, I'm getting one woman particularly. Or well, maybe not. Somebody is willing to provide you with a solution. It also shows a situation about you are skeptical about making some type of move some type of move or some type of decision you're trying to head towards and you're skeptical there's this fear now i don't know if this the the nine of fire let's see Okay then, nah. the nine. Of, the nine of fire would be the nine of wands. The nine of wands shows a person, or it tells a person on getting to meditate on whatever decision you that you are trying to make. You got a guy right there over you, so if you meditating on seeing this guy, this masculine energy watching over you, it's telling you to take some time, light some candles. Purify your spirit and your soul. I'm also seeing a, a, a feminine energy as well. So I'm seeing feminine and masculine energy. I'm also seeing energies of the animal kingdom. So you guys, it's multiple of you. Multiple, you, many of you may have multiple spirit guides and guardians. Some of you may just have one or two or a few that move with you. Take what resonates. But I'm getting a masculine energy and a feminine energy. There's a solution to this situation that's going on. With this solution, you would then know what it is meant for you to do. It's telling you to take some time, meditate, light some candles, purify yourself, cleanse your energy alone, and listen for the guidance. We have a protector also, a, a goddess, a warrior, the warrior Oba. The warrior Oba is also considered El Oshun, Yemaye, and Oya, if I think I'm not mistaken, or something like that. I got to do more research. But Oba is a warrior guy that says, well, that has a lot to do with water, you know. And I'm also picking up a lot of blue energy as well, with this woman particularly. 
is Oba is trying to defend you with whatever situation it is you may be going through. Because as we see, the devil card may appear, have appeared. When the devil card comes and talk about temptation, it also can talk about addictions and habits and stuff that keeps us from moving forward. It can be a relationship. It can be anything, a habit. You know what a habit is. Come on now. You've been living here long enough. So whatever situation this is, inside this village, inside this home, it's a lot of fire energy going on. A lot of fiery energy. And I want you to, uh, Divine, to classify this. The high priest just came out. Clarify the card. Can you clarify the village? The Hereford came out. Y'all, wow, we had a high priestess, and then right behind that we had a Hereford. And now, the shaman, wow. Clarify. Wow, God, this is popping out. The daughter of this, the star card. One more card. With the high priestess, it's telling you to trust your intuition. With the hair friend, this is a tradition. You, you, you know, okay, hold up. Let's slow down. With the high priestess, it's telling you to trust your intu intuition. Trust your heart. Trust your soul. Give yourself some time, like you said in this, in, in, in this meditation, what your guides want you to do. Meditate, connect with yourself, and listen to that true answer. You already know what to do. The hair friend is also a person that's into, you know, the connections of their true self. They also into mystical things. They also is in a traditional set way. So you could have a family. When they talk about this village, this background, it also could be in your family or in, you know, your group of environment that you deal with. And... It's a, it's a tradition set way of living. Whether you came up believing in a certain type of religion, whether you came up, you know, doing things a certain way within your family routine. And then with the shaman energy, the shaman telling you also, once again, like the high priestess, like your guides and guardian, to take the time to travel inside of yourself and find out what is really best for you. You know, find out what is truth. I'm also getting, t you might be having clashes in the situation because I'm hearing that your people want you to be a certain way. Or you may be trying to force yourself to be a certain way with your environment. But however, the conflict is coming from you not being your true authentic self. So therefore, it deliver all this fire energy what caused chaos in this situation inside of your family, inside of whatever, you know, situation that is going on. But however, we have, once again, the daughter of this. The daughter of this is, um, like the, I know it's the pentacles, if I'm not mistaken, maybe. Okay, I ain't gonna do no assumptions, guys. This is the pinnacles, the daughter of this. So, you know, with the daughter of this, what I'm picking up, I'm just gonna read the card because, you know, I don't know the board. We seeing a, a feminine energy standing in their power now. When I say feminine energy, that don't mean necessarily that, you know, you are a woman or a man. We all have masculine and feminine energies. And knowing that we have masculine and feminine energy, whatever you are vibrating at, the more is the energy you'll be projecting out. And with me saying this, I'm also picking up, you know, it's a lot that's going on with this fire element. Maybe your feminine energy need to be more balanced. You know, your emotional side, you know, them triggers that makes you feel a certain way when you see somebody or something reminds you of something so it's telling you to be more not dominant but be more feminine where you can balance both energies having good discernment you know and we have the star card you were gonna come out on top doing this 
you know, this is a person I'm seeing with the daughter of this. She's standing in her power now. You know, she's in her own circle. She created her own thing. She connected with nature now. She have treasured her heart and her soul. And she have broken her loose and broken away from what was no longer good for her. And it was hard because it was something that, you know, caused a lot of emotional pain and, and, and detachment from them attachments. In the star card now, you see this woman at peace, connecting with nature, connecting with her higher self, knowing the truth about divine, knowing the truth about self-love, knowing the truth about healing. I'm, I'm picking up on a lot of, um, acknowledge your sacred chakra, and your sacred chakra sit right here, and they got to do with the water element. So maybe practice on taking the wonderful showers or spiritual baths and let the water soothe you. A water or a wonderful bath would be good for you if you just have a bottle of fresh alkaline water, I prefer. Or if you just take a wonderful hot shower, you don't need all the herbs, but if you can put the herbs in too, that'd be wonderful. But make sure you know what you're doing because things can backfire, you know, if we don't know what we're doing. So, this is a person that actually now learning the truth. And it's okay. You should do this. And on the bottom right here, guess what we have again? We have the shaman wands. And the shaman or swords. Wow. So that's, that, that's, wow. You are highly intuitive. You're in your conscious. You've been going through an emotional shift about some situations, whether how you came up or where the environment that you've been living or the beliefs about people. There's been a lot of fire element. And, you know, you haven't been able to recognize your power as well. Take what resonates, you know, because this will resonate, you know, with the collector. It, it will resonate with everybody. That's what I'm getting. Everybody that read this video out through, this resonates with you. This is for you. As well, myself. And it's showing that, you know, you're highly intuitive. you the person that also is supposed to be leading and helping the others. you the person that's supposed to break this family cycle or this generational curse. And it ain't been easy. But it's showing that you have protection. It's showing that you got all these divine guidance with you. It's showing that do whatever it is you're trying to do. This is the time right now. This is the time that... This will be the time that you'll be stepping into your power. This is the time that you'll be showing them, this is who I am, and I'm happy with that. And, and that's a wonderful thing because, you know, I also myself experienced that. Guardian, number 10, also, which bringing one, independence. Also, after completing the cycle, new beginnings, you know, guardian. You got guided. You're divinely protected. Your intuition, intuitive listening, like to your path, blessing from the sun. You got a connection with the fire element once again. The fire element that's confirmation. The number eleven, the guardian angels. The number nine, completion of a cycle. Weight of the divine feminine reveal. You know your power right now. You know who you are, and you're showing out. I got this wonderful connection with the butterflies. I say I got the wonderful connection with the butterflies, baby. And that means you have been went through a wonderful transformation. You have been going through a wonderful transformation. Give me one more card. So I got to slow it down, guys. You got some magnificent energy. Goddess, she guards the waters of life. She guards the water of life. Can't nobody mess with you. Oh, bah. This is confirmation. We just talked about oh, by the warrior of the waters. Go back to the reading if you don't understand me. Spirit don't lie. It comes in just like this. Oba, to protect the, the guardian, the guardian of the waters. Mother Yamaye also mixed with Oshun, also mixed with Oya. She is nothing to play with. You know, she is very powerful. You know, so look up, you know, the beautiful goddess, Oba. Also, the number four talks about stability. 
So now you haven't you come into some stability in all areas of your life, not just your physical perspective, now your spiritual perspective as well. We got one more, guys. One more from the guys. One more to confirm this reading before we exit out from the spiritual guys. Wow, if y'all can see this right now, what they are doing. The beautiful goddess is here. Perception. Maybe you seeing things from a higher level of conscience now. Maybe you radiating at a higher frequency. Okay, let's do the split. They say do the split. Wow. Second chance is to bring success. That's another 10 too, y'all. That's the last one. Diamond Tiger of the Black Moon. You got all elements right here present. You got earth. You got water. You got air right here showing out in fire. You are connected with the divine. You are here to lead the lost sheep. Your purpose is way higher. You are listening to your intuitive gifts. You are taking the time to reflect on your inner self. And as I can see that you've been alone on this journey for a moment, but this journey has brought you to new opportunities, new possibilities, new experiences, new consciousness, new awakenings. Like this is so amazing because I know the feeling of the connection when you are really, really connected with the birds, the bees, the trees, and just breathing in the bleed. You ain't hear me. I say, breathing in the bleed. Take that to your level of conscience. So, I'm gonna end and wrap this up. There was a quick little message from Divine right now for you. It can get deeper if you want to, but you know, it's up to you. Comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, book your personal reading. Also, book your wonderful, wonderful one-on-one -on -one session of transformation. I also do private spiritual battles. Spiritual battles are very important. I will book you, you know, we'll talk. How about that? Email me, you know, you'll have your own location. You'll be where you're have the time to yourself where your products and everything will be set up all you got to do is just go in and enjoy that wonderful fulfillment of finding out who you are inside so connect with me and let's connect with each other let's see how we can help heal each other but not only each other this wonderful humanity that we're part of peace love enlightenment to you on your wonderful divine journey i'm out of here